afternoon. Today, we will go with the Chinese cuisines. Last time, we mentioned two branches of the Chinese cuisines. They are Lu cuisine and Yu cuisine. And today, we will go on with next three cuisines. They are Chuan cuisine, Su cuisine, and Xiang cuisine. Also, there are another three cuisines, but maybe today we can't mention that. Okay, and let's go on. First, let's look at Chuan cuisine. First, look at the area. Uh, the Chuan cuisine is mainly in Sichuan province, and there is another big city of Chuan cuisine that is Chongqing city. And let's look at the cooking materials. The cooking materials of Chuan cuisine can be concluded in one word that is abundant. Abundant, that means many, many different kinds of uh, materials can be used as the cooking materials. For example, in my own words, the animals flying in the sky and the animals uh, running on the land, swimming in the water. All of these animals can be used as the uh, as the cooking materials. And then let's look next part. The garlic, the cooking materials, garlic, the chili peppers, and the peppercorn are often used as the cooking materials for Chuan cuisine. And then let's look at the features. Features. Three peppers, seven tastes, and eight flavors. How to understand them? Three peppers, that means in Chinese, that means san jiao, and seven tastes, that means qi zhi, and eight flavors, that means ba wei. Actually, if you haven't been to Sichuan or Chongqing, it's very hard to understand uh, the features of three, seven, and eight. And then let's look. And then let's look at about the flavor. And if you have ever eaten Chuan cuisine, I believe everybody remembers the flavor of Chuan cuisine. That is first. Hot and then sour, <coughs> 有点酸, and another uh, feature that is particular to Chuan cuisine. Now, here I have a question. Why the uh, flavor of Chuan cuisine is hot, sour, and na? Why? That's because of the Cooking materials. Just now we said they use three peppers. Three peppers, do you remember? They are. And now let's look at the cooking techniques of Chinese cuisine. Usually they use these techniques, for example, baking, sauteing, and steaming. And look at the typical dishes. Typical dishes, lamb shadow beef, that is 灯影牛肉,用四川话说叫灯影牛肉, and then 空泡鸡肯,拱宝鸡丁, <laughs> and then fried pork with salted pepper, that is 回锅肉. Here just now we mentioned some uh, typical dishes of Chuan cuisine. Actually, Chuan cuisines are far from examples. And let's go on with next page. Ah, uh, do you know the name of the dish? This is Mao Xue Wang. In English, that is dark blood in chili sauce. It seems very, very hot. And then, next one. Uh-huh. 
And look at this. This one just now we mentioned. That is Kung Pao Chicken. Kung Pao Ji Ding. And then this one is Tofu. And we find these two dishes are of the same material. Tofu. This one is cooked by the by almost every family, that is common common cooking style, 就是家常的豆腐. This one is very famous, that is, let me guess, 麻婆豆腐. 麻婆豆腐, yes, 麻婆豆腐, okay? And then this one, this one is the head of an animal. What is it? 鸭头. And then, this is shrimp. And this one is cooked by steaming. Ah, uh, just now we said the cooking techniques, and and then we find most of these dishes are what are cooked with what with these peppers, red peppers, and then let's go on. And this one also. Is the steamy one, steaming pork. Let's look. Here, I'd like to mention the seasonal of the Chuan cuisine. All of these different features are from these seasoning, seasoners, okay? And then, uh, uh -huh. let's look. Look at this part. All of this part, all of the dishes in this part are of one color, that is, Red. Okay. You can say that Chuan cuisine is one of the most famous cuisines throughout the world. And uh, in America, there are many, many uh, Chinese restaurants. And at least half of the restaurants are Chuan cuisine restaurants. So from this, we can find Chuan cuisine really enjoys high reputation throughout the world. And let's look. And the next cuisine is Su cuisine. First, let's look at the area. The area is mainly in Jiangsu province. And Su cuisine has four branches. Uh -huh. They are four branches of styles of Yangzhou, Nanjing, Suzhou and Zhenjiang dishes. And the cooking materials. Su cuisine often use the freshwater fish and the seafood as their cooking materials. And a rich variety of local vegetables are widely used as their cooking materials. And then let's go on with the next page. Now, I'd like to say something about the flavor. The flavor of Su cuisine is of distinctive style. First, it is of fresh taste. And then, it is of moderate saltiness. And remember here, sweetness. And I have one question. Why? Why is Su cuisine of fresh taste? I guess we can find the answers. Find the answer from, from the cooking materials. Just now we said, Su cuisine often uses, uses fresh water fish and seafood. They are really fresh. So the Su cuisine is of fresh taste. And look at the cooking, cooking techniques. Uh -huh, we find Su cuisine has really many different techniques. They are stewing, mandun, and simmering, and baking over a slow fire, and sauteing, and steaming, and then a stew, stir frying, braising in mud. Okay, and let's look at the typical dishes. First one is sudo braised. Lion head. What is lion head? Shi zi hong. Yes, that is Suzhou Hong Shao Shi zi hong. And 
Next, squirrel mandarin fish, shongshu gui yu, and boiled salted duck, yan shui ya. Next one that is tea white snacks and sudo rice cakes. This one is just now we said is squirrel mandarin fish, shongshu gui yu. That means the fish was cooked. As a squirrel, and let's look here. Ah,、uh, this one, this one, this this dish is cooked by by chicken and the turtle. There is a beautiful name for this fish. That is, 霸王别姬 <laughs> And this one, just now we said, 狮子狮子头 Yes, lion head. The dishes on this page are really delicate, and especially here, these two, uh huh, almost transparent. And this one, this one, Chinese meaning, 水晶羊肉 Is it? Is it a little like crystal? Uh huh. And and this one, this one, just now we mentioned. This one is really famous. It's of Nanjing branch. Now let's look at this page. These the dishes of this page are also of delicate looking, and this page are of the tea white snacks and the sudo rice. Let's look at this one. Qing Huai Ba Jue. That is eight unique of Qing Huai. That is, and we find this. All of these, these pictures are a little similar with this page.、Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go on. Next cuisine is Xiang cuisine, and first, also let's look at the area. Xiang cuisine is usually in Hunan province, and. The features of Xiang cuisine that is hot, spicy flavor, 非常的辣 and it's of fresh aroma and deep color, and it often used the smoked and cured goods. There is another feature of Xiang cuisine that is the art of cutting meat and vegetables. Pleases the eyes of people and enhances the tenderness of the dishes. And we say, Xiang cuisine is famous, and many people know Xiang cuisine because of a big, because of famous people, because of big man that is Chairman Mao. Chairman Mao loved pepper, and there is another dish that is red cooked pork. So from our Chairman Mao's story, we know we can know the feature of Xiang cuisine. Ah,、uh, that is first very hot, second of deep color. Okay, and I can say that Xiang cuisine is much similar with our Gan cuisine. Okay, and then. Let's look at the flavor. Xiang cuisine is well known for its spices, savory flavors, and crispness. Just now we said that. And let's look at the cooking techniques: ah,、uh, stewing, frying, pot roasting. Pot roasting that is 用砂锅去炖或者是烤 braising and smoking. We find there is a very different technique here. Smoking, 熏肉 okay, 熏 and let's look at the typical dishes. Ah,、uh, first one, steamed fish head. 就是说它的鱼头是蒸出来的 We dice the hot red peppers. 剁椒鱼头 and. Capsicum fried meat, 辣椒炒肉 Just now we said, Xiang cuisine is much similar with our Gan cuisine. In Nanchang, in Jiangxi province, ah,、uh, there is also a very famous dish that is 
辣椒炒肉。OK， and then third grandma dishes， 湘西外婆菜。What is 湘西外婆菜？ We can see that in the letter pictures. OK， and then 东安 chicken， 东安子鸡。And the next one that is steamed multiple preserved hams, 叫辣味和珍，也就是说用很多种那种辣味啊一起蒸一盘。Okay, and so and we find this dish uses the cooking techniques of smoking. And then let's go on. This one. Can we find something about the hotness? Ah,、uh、hot -huh, flavor. Pepper. Here is pepper. Ah,、uh -huh. and then go on. And so just now we said there is a very famous dish that is grandma dish. Here, this one. Ah,、oh. and this one is our Chinese mom's favorite. And、um, let's go on. And this part is the steamed multiple preserved hams. Okay, many different parts of the pork are steamed here. Okay, very delicious. Ah,、uh, I believe that this such dishes are very popular and very practical for spring festival. Okay, and then let's go on. Ah.、Oh. These four pictures are of one dish. This dish is steamed. The fish head is covered with a lot of pepper. <laughs> so hot. Today we learned three branches of Chinese cuisines. They are Chuan cuisine, Su cuisine, and Xiang cuisine. All of these three branches are of different distinctive features and flavors. And next time we will learn next three branches of Chinese cuisines. And I hope you will like it. Let's call it a day. Thank you very much.